Hi everybody, and welcome again to Square Enix Presents at E3. This next 30 minutes is going to be talking about everything Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 Remix. My name is Matt Kishimoto and I'm the North American Product Manager for this title. And I am joined by the lovely Rui Anderson. Hello everyone around the world, and I'm, my name is Rui Anderson. I'm the European Brand Manager on Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 Remix. And uh, I'm very excited and super nervous to hear <laughs> this program together with Matt. Actually, he's, uh, I call him as a fancy shoe collector. Do you want to show your fancy shoes today? This is what I brought for everybody today. Super Look at fancy. that. Look at that. Uh, it's kind uh. of Tiffany color, amazing shoes. It's American style. Are you jealous about that, Rui? <laughs> you wish you had a pair? Yeah, exactly. OK. So first off, uh, we've been reading all of your Facebook comments. We've been reading Twitter posts, forum blogs, everything. So we know you guys are all excited about Kingdom Hearts 3. Yes. Yeah, we announced it at uh, Sony Conference on Monday night, and we had a conference yesterday. And I know people have been asking for years and years about Kingdom Hearts 3, so we are very, very thrilled, actually, to announce um, um, finally this year. Yeah, so we're very, we're very proud to announce that. But um, Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 Remix, for all of you out there that are hardcore Kingdom Hearts fans, is the perfect game to get back into the whole series. Yeah, definitely. And for those people who actually never played Kingdom Hearts series before, this is definitely the best chance and perfect chance to start playing the um, amazing epic story and the whole amazing Kingdom Hearts um, series. Uh, so we know a lot of you out there aren't able to attend E3, and that's exactly what this broadcast booth is for. Mm -hmm. So what we wanted to do is give you an opportunity to see exactly what people on the show floor are able to play. So we're going to get into a little bit of that gameplay. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so this year actually, we have chosen to give two different levels from Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. And, now, and um, everyone's favorite is, obviously, which one is that? Halloween, Halloween Town. Town um, from yeah. Nightmare Before Christmas. And then also, the other one is Neverland from Peter Pan. So we're going to show you a little bit of the um, actual um, E3 show floor gameplay demo. Correct. I don't know if you guys remember, but uh, a couple months ago, we pulled the entire... Uh, 2 million, 1.9 million, 1 uh, million yeah. Facebook followers uh, on which level you guys wanted to play and we netted out with Halloween Town so we wanted to do this for you all out there. Exactly. Um, yeah, so let's watch a little bit of cuts in here. Um, I'm pretty sure like lots of, lots of you actually want to see this uh, famous cutscenes. also this time is in full HD so let's check it out. Full decorations. I don't understand. Maybe the guidance system was damaged in the explosion. Nonsense. My devices are always perfect. Oh, I've got it. Why, of course. The heartless need a heart. Doctor, do you think we can add a heart to that device? Certainly. A heart's not all that complicated. Ah, let's get to work. To make a heart, first take a container with a lock. We need the key to this thing first! are completely out of control! We can't stop them! Hmm, maybe our experiment triggered something. Everything will be fine, Mayor. You have nothing to worry about. So at this point, we really, really wanted to show you guys some of the gameplay. Um, and kind of kind of talk you through a lot of the really interesting things about Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 Remix. So for those of you that may not know out there, uh, Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 Remix contains Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories, and Kingdom Hearts 358 Days Over 2. Mm -hmm. It's amazing, isn't it? Three fantastic Kingdom Hearts games in one disc. 
Uh, yeah, in North America it's going to be $39.99. And for Europe it's going to be $39.99. Euros. And this is actually the first time that Kingdom Hearts at all has been on PlayStation 3. I know, look at this screen now, it looks amazing and the team back in Japan actually did a, a tremendous job to uh, actually uh, make a 4 HD game and it actually doesn't look like more than 10 years old game does it? I know right? The original one came out in 2002, it doesn't even look like that. No, so it looks amazing and now on the screen actually you can see an uh, amazing Zini. Actually in Halloween Town, Sora and Donna Goofy, all of them wearing a special costume. Yeah, one of the unique levels within Kingdom Hearts where they fully get decked out in a unique costume. Yeah, exactly. Really cool stuff. It's very cool stuff. And now, actually, um, Sora did the summon. And who's coming out this time? It's Simba. That whole effect as well, he looks amazing now in 4HD and on PlayStation 3. Rui, did you see Lion King? Yes, I did. Actually, I watched the musical as well in London. Ah, very cool, very yes. cool. Yes. Zero, have you seen Sally anywhere? Is something wrong, Jack? No, everything's going great. We're going to have the best Halloween ever. All we need now is your memory. Memory? You mean this? Jack, I have a bad feeling about this. Why don't you try something else? There's still time. Nothing could beat what I've got planned. Once we give the Heartless a heart, they'll dance just as I envision it. Trust me, you're going to love it. Okay, so this is the um, All About Halloween Town we can show today. But obviously we got another level we can show you today, which is the Neverland from Peter Pan. <laughs> So, so one of the biggest questions that we receive is what exactly is in Kingdom Hearts Final Mix? So Kingdom Hearts Final Mix was only released in Japan before, so now it's finally coming to Europe and North America. I know, how exciting is that because European people have been waiting such a long time to play actually, to be able to play, so this is a perfect um, game actually for both North America and then Europe. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so what's exactly included in Final Mix? There's an additional boss battle. There's new Heartless. There's gummy ship missions. Yes. There are new items. It, yes. uh, I didn't even touch the surface. There's so much cool stuff within Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. Um, and that, that's just a small taste of it. Exactly. And also, because this game is on PlayStation 3, so obviously um, we added the trophy support for all those trophy collectors. Yeah. So, for you, Rui, question, yes. what is your favorite Kingdom Hearts? Well, that's a very difficult question, isn't it? Because I'm a brand manager on Kingdom Hearts series, I've played every single one. And um, for the last 10 years, obviously more than 10 years, we've released so many games, so many Kingdom Hearts games. And uh, hmm, it's very difficult, but I would say it's going to be Kingdom Hearts 3D Dream Drop Distance, which we released last year. Yeah, did you play that, Matt? I did, I did. It's an awesome game. Love the flow motion, love the dream eaters. All that stuff is really, really cool. I know, because in that game, we actually um, um, challenged the kind of new battle system, and it was very colorful on Nintendo 3DS, and 
It was really, really good. So, yeah. How about you, Matt? What is your favorite? Uh, it's kind of odd. I don't know if this is a lot of people's favorite, but mine is actually Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories. Really? I love the card battle gameplay system. Uh, it, it blends kind of the worlds of Kingdom Hearts 1 and, and the whole card battling mm -hmm. into one and it, it's a it's a really cool experience yeah about talking about the rechain of memories obviously this is um the rechain of memories actually in this um, kingdom hearts hd 1.5 but actually rechain of memories never ever come out in europe what you guys in north america obviously you had the ps2 version before but in in europe we had the gba version which was a completely different game which was in 2d and graphic wasn't 3d at all so all the european fans and um, was so excited to be able to play this game. Yeah, so. Cool. Uh, so, Rechain of Memories will be included in the bundle of Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 Remix. And additionally, with that. Yes, um, we have a Kingdom Hearts 358 Days Over 2, which is we released in back in 2008 on Nintendo DS. And uh, this time, actually, there is no gameplay. But actually, you can just put the disc in and sit back on your couch in a living room and you can watch the entire full cutscene from 358 Days Over 2 um, in one go in 4HD. How cool is that? Awesome. And now we're actually getting to one of my favorite boss battles in the game against Captain Hook, where you uh, first get the ability to fly around, so it's awesome. I know, yeah, actually, yeah, that's the thing, because Neverland, um, Neverland level, so I can fly. Thanks, Peter. Hey, don't mention it. You didn't think I'd leave you and Tink behind, did you? Okay, so now Sora can fly. Let's have a look. Yeah, look at that. So it's very, very cool, isn't it? I mean, you have to um, fight against Heartless actually when you're flying. It's very difficult to actually control, but in this game, actually, we um, actually fix the camera control as well. It's much, much easier to actually um, to um, play. Yeah. So if you guys remember on the original Kingdom Hearts, uh, the camera controls was L2 and R2, but then now it's been remapped so that you control the camera with just the right analog stick. Yeah. Exactly. And here he comes, the famous the evil Captain Hook. Hi, Captain. They walk the plank, every last one of them. Repeat the pleasure. Blast you! Ready to make a splash, you codfish? Now it's your turn to walk the plank. Did you say it's your famous boss, uh, your favorite boss battle, is it? Uh, yeah, definitely. There's, I mean, it's so many great boss battles within this game, uh, and they're all kind of a little bit different, but this is uh, by far my favorite. I feel like they take full use of the whole Peter Pan uh, property, and then they kind of seamlessly integrate with Kingdom Hearts, so I think it's fantastic. Yeah, definitely.
Wow, Sora won. Alright, so for those of you who haven't already pre-ordered Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 Remix, if that didn't sell you on it, we have some really other cool stuff to uh, share with you. So, uh, depending on the region, there we do have limited edition art books. 24 pages, yes. it's awesome, it contains uh, storyboard animation, it contains, uh, concept art, character renders, all sorts of really cool stuff. Yeah, so we um, announced this um, limited edition, obviously, art book um, a couple of weeks ago, actually, but we actually put the, a little video for you to, um, to show you, actually, what the, this amazing art book is. So, yeah. let's play. Wow. Seriously, like there are so many amazing artwork in there. And um, oh, please check your local retailers um, for details like price and availability. But this is definitely, I'm telling you, something you definitely shouldn't miss. Um, seriously, it looks amazing. And uh, final product is probably going to change a little bit. Maybe a little bit, but that yeah. gives you a really good idea of what's going to be included in there. But we also have a special surprise for you. We haven't really announced this yet. But uh, game director of Kingdom Hearts, Tetsuya Nomura himself, has written a special uh, message to all of you fans out there. We can't say exactly what it's, it's saying, yeah. but it's awesome. <laughs> yeah, we actually um, are very lucky. Um, people actually saw this message and everything, but it looks amazing. And um, please, please, please pre-order and uh, make sure you're going to secure this album. Definitely. So one other thing that we really wanted to show you guys here is we have a special treat uh, just for this broadcast booth. Yes. So um, he um, he himself, uh, Mr. Tetsuya Nomura, actually he's at E3 this year, and um, he's been very very busy doing the interviews. And but very lucky, he kindly signed this amazing. Ha. Shall we show? Yeah. Ta da. -dum. Amazing lithograph and then signed by himself. And what are we going to do about this, Matt? Uh, so they're all numbered individually, also. So it's pretty cool. So uh, we have numbers one and two right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to give these out on Facebook. So if you guys haven't already liked the page, there's already two million of you out there. But if you're not one of those two million, like facebook.com backslash kingdom hearts. Yes. And uh, we'll be sharing details on how we're giving that away shortly. Yes, definitely. I mean, um, please, please, please check Facebook and do it. Uh, so we'd love to show you a couple pictures of Nomura signing. Mm-hmm. Uh, and additionally, uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but these are our Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 uh, remix shirts for this event. So they're yeah. really cool. One side you have the light symbols and then the other side you have the dark symbols. Mm -hmm. And uh, Rui, why don't you show them what's on the back? Yes. Do you want to show it? Do you want to see it? Look at that. So if you guys can't see, that's actually uh, Nomura-san's signature as well on our shirts. Yes. So. And oh. actually this sign is a very special one. He normally doesn't sign this signature, but um, for special occasion, like, like now, like E3, and he did that. How good is that? This is mine, by the way. Uh, cool. But you got one <laughs> as well. I did, you? I did. So this is mine. Show you off. Look at that. So um, he signed um, on his shirt as well. So it looks, it looks amazing. And you're gonna keep it, definitely, aren't you? You're definitely uh, gonna keep it. I'm never gonna take it off. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna sleep in it every day. <laughs> That's amazing, actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, it looks like we have only a few more minutes, Sully. So, thank you again, everyone, for tuning in. 
to watch this um, Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 uh, remix program. And here is this year's E3 trailer for you to enjoy. So. the celebrated series like never before. So again, just as a reminder, Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 Remix, it comes exclusively to the exclusively exclusively. to the PS3 uh, September 10th uh, this year for North America. And for Europe, it's going to be 13th of September. So please don't forget to pre-order now and secure that amazing limited art book. Again, we wanted to thank you for tuning in. And up next uh, is Murdered Soul Suspect, a theater walkthrough. So thank you. Thank you very and much. And goodbye. Bye-bye.